my name is Kay. I'm a poet and a writer and on this channel I do reactions to K-pop videos, specifically lyric reactions and breakdowns. And Cora's here. Hi. You want to say hi to the camera? Say hello. Such a drama queen. Always showing up as soon as the camera turns on but not sitting with me otherwise. When I did Missing You, you guys gave me tons of fantastic recommendations for B2B videos. I love them so much. Literally every single person recommended Beautiful Pain. I was told I should probably do It's Okay first um, to kind of get to know the group better. Beautiful Pain is on the list. Don't worry. It'll probably be like next week or something I get to it because like I said, I'm really into them. But I felt like I should do It's Okay. That was highly recommended as well. And so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, it's Okay by B2B, those beautiful voices. And let's just go ahead and jump on in. I don't, I haven't heard this one yet, I don't think at all. So I don't think this is one of the ones that they performed on Kingdom. So let's just see how it goes. They actually have a radio show like that, right? Like, doesn't Ilhun, doesn't Ilhun actually do a radio? Or maybe a different group members do a radio show? I feel like I've seen clips of them with the radio program and other people performing on there. So they actually have one, right? They also seem to really like to do them like movies out of their music videos, which I really like. Their voices. Oh my god, their voices are so cute. But this opening part with Sung Jae stuffing his face full of all of that food is so cute. <laughs> so he's on some kind of a, a journey. So do you feel burdened? It's not easy to put down your heavy burdens. Like, I do feel like that sometimes. He's going on some kind of like backpacking adventure. He must be like a young, like college age, trying to figure out your life kind of situation. Man, so Penal is like, he's trained to be a firefighter. He's like got some serious stuff going on here. So someone told me, when your, dream, when your dream feels like being far away, take a break. Oh, this is gonna be like a really sweet, comforting song, isn't it? Oh, are you tired of the same daily life? Okay, so they had an emergency here. And for whom is it? Okay, so Pino pulls the woman out of the car and then he's doing chest compressions. Let's see, we'll fall down again. This guy is like pissed about the chest compressions. He, I think uh, she doesn't need it, basically. Like, he, you can cause a lot of damage by doing just CPR. You can cause a lot of damage by giving someone CPR when you don't need it. You have to break, in order to do it, you have to break the bone here. You have to break someone's rib cage. You have to break their chest in order to give compressions properly. So like, you can do a lot of damage if someone doesn't need it and you do chest compressions. It can be very bad. Uh, on the other hand, if you don't do it and it could save somebody's life, then they could die from you not doing it or not doing it properly. And so he's getting chewed out by this guy for one reason or another. So you will fall down again. You'll make mistakes in your life. In, in Penal's case in this one, it could be life or death for somebody. Like you can make serious mistakes. When you're tired and feel lonely, He's picking up probably a picture of her family member off the ground. Listen to this song. Is this Chung Sub? Let's see what Chung Sub's job is. Is this what they would be doing if they weren't in B2B? Like what their other job would have been? I like how Sung Jae just doesn't have another job. He's just backpacking across the countryside eating lots of food. 
<laughs> oh man, what a cutie. Okay, let's just say, Penal has the most stressful life. He, everyone else is like, I'd be doing all of this other stuff. And he's like, I would literally be in life or death situations. Kid was ambitious. Those are the jobs that they were going to have. This kid was ambitious. An EMT firefighter. He needs this song. I mean, everyone needs this song. No, it, it's kind of also like, no matter what, like there can be big things that are stressful and small things that are stressful. Your life can have life or death consequences or it can have like somebody doesn't get their lunch. Like Chung Sub is here as a delivery guy and this guy is being like, I'm not paying for it because you're late. It's totally what he's doing. Being an asshole. He's like, I'm not late. And he's like, no, you're fucking late. I'm going to throw all of this chicken wings on the ground and be an asshole about it, which means Chung Sub is probably going to have to pay the difference. Don't be mean to your delivery people. Sometimes it's frustrating. It's, it's never their fault. Well, it's sometimes their fault. It's not their fault. Like, life is tough for everyone. Let's look forward to your favorite- <laughs> I'm getting distracted by what's going on. Look forward to your favorite mel- your favorite melody, a voice from the radio. Aang Kong would have been a librarian refiling the books. And he's so happy about it. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. All I can do is write lyrics. Oh, and then he knocked the books to the floor. He's gonna get chewed out. It's okay if you're tired. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. I believe in you and here. Oh, why can I never remember his name? Cause he wasn't on Kingdom, okay? I picked up the four names that were on Kingdom and the other ones I'm working on. Hyunsik would have been an artist. Oh, I could have waited to say his name. Oh, wait, what'd she say? Enroll again when you have a fee for the lesson? So he can't even afford the classes he wants to take to do the art classes that he wants. Talking about like real, real life stuff. So, yeah, and only when you have the fee for the lesson. I told my parents, and they said, "Ugh, like my parents aren't helping to support me and my dreams, uh, to finance my dreams." I couldn't say that I got fired from my part-time job. I don't want to disappoint them. Yesterday, my friend took a vacation. Uh, my friend is about to be discharged from the army because, of course. I think I think the last of the B2B members have now done their military service. I think everyone's done. Obviously Penal is an American citizen so he doesn't have to do it, but it's it's so inter it's so interesting from a foreigner's perspective the way men in Korea have to look at military service. They're all they're all my age and they just knew they would have to go in. I think some of the younger generation have a bit of hope that maybe or or maybe they were even told when they were younger, like, oh you're not going to have to, things are gonna change and then they haven't changed and they feel more disillusioned. But it just I think it still felt very inevitable. Like that's just something that they do. And so especially watching some uh, some music videos or like the performances on Kingdom. A lot of guns showed up. And I thought it was actually it was really interesting how um, the guns were never censored. The guns were always just on screen. But there were some times when knives were censored. And I thought it's kind of weird from like an uh, American's perspective. It would almost be the opposite you would think. Or um, I think in, in Japanese television, the guns would be censored in a lot of cases. 
but there was knives that were censored a lot which was very strange and interesting korean men just have a different relationship to things like guns than than american boys do because they're going to have to learn how to shoot one they're going to enlist in the army they're going to to learn about all these things to experience all these things and that's just a reality of their life and so yeah the relationship to certain things is very different and talking about like he's got a friend who's already done their military service they're about to be discharged and he said it's scary it's scary to be being discharged i assume in this in this context it's scary to be being discharged it's scary to have to come into society and start life now he forgot everything he learned from the university like he did his classes preparing for his future learning all these things that he was supposed to learn and then he had this mandatory military time and he's forgotten everything and he says the real world is scary now like you had this i think i think it's about two years it's two year gap basically in his life where now he's been doing this he's got to come back to this thing that he was supposedly prepared for but then kind of got shoved aside for this other thing he is sort of always prepared for really getting like into the heart of kind of what sucks about life one million unemployed and i don't know that i didn't I, 100 million one million unemployed i don't know that i hope the number is my account balance like i i wish i wish i had a million dollars in my account you know like, i wish that number reflected my account uh my my bank account and not my likelihood of not getting another job and now here looking at the menu so this is, this is a pretty expensive looking menu so in korean to american you move the decimal three places that's what i learned so like something on this menu is 55 dollars. this is not a cheap place a noisy alarm starts to rush me from dawn so i gotta get up with my alarm clock and she says what are you doing like he's trying to pay for her on the date because that's what like traditional social men are supposed to pay for the date kind of thing like and she's and she's a fantastic girlfriend and it's like or fantastic friend they don't have to be dating when you get a job you can buy me food right now i can pay for you and like good for her but now he's feeling guilty about it even though she says today it's on me he's feeling guilty because that's not what he expected to be the way that the world works you know like he expected to be the one paying for dates even though he's got no money and he landed a fantastic girl good for him good for you minhyuk on sail without coordinates a small paper boat is wandering God, i love that line i force myself to gulp down tears so soon i pick up a habit of sighing so i'm not tr i'm trying not to cry and so i end up sighing a lot like it's too too often too much I, I can't just cry about it all the time but so instead i end up sighing a lot like a, the more numbed down the more numbed version i know what i'm like a fool i pretend to be okay in front of others you are so bright and innocent where are you now probably talking to your, your past self or how people talk to you when it's like life sucks how can i be a happy bright person when life is awful love this so much so again look forward to your favorite moment there's a like like listen to this song listen to your favorite song and just like this is all i can give you back i know your life is hard i know you're struggling i know things suck and it's okay it's okay if you're tired things are gonna be okay because i believe in you i'm like oh <laughs> when they sing it like that when they say it like that they sing it like that it's like okay i'll try not to sob i'm doing my best
Penal has every right to be upset, okay? He has a tough job he's doing. You have every right to be obsessed and uh, to be upset and to be frustrated that you're not doing better, that, that feels like they're being harsh on you. You, good luck. Good luck, pretty child. going to fight with that guy. Oh, everyone's having a tough time. Don't you break up with her. Don't you break up with her just because you don't have enough money. This girl's excellent. <gasps> no! Bad! <laughs> Shame on you. That's not a good reason for break feeling insufficient and like insecure about yourself in your current life is not a good reason for a breakup and shame on you. Like that is the worst. If you have other reasons, fine. But not wanting to be taken care of by your girlfriend, get over yourself. You should be happy that she's willing to help take care of you while you're struggling. Like you can pay her back later, like work hard. Don't just end things and make you both miserable just because you're miserable. No, that is not the solution. You gotta learn to lean on each other, okay? You gotta learn to like have a whole relationship and not just be like, I need to be the one like bringing all of the support to the table and I can't do that right now. Like let people, let, let, let yourself be leaned on and lean on others. Minyuk, you bastard. <laughs> what a jerk. Why is he doing this to you? Poor, I, I feel so bad for her. She's such a good girlfriend. Oh, you deserve better, sweetie. I thought he was an angel too, but no. You deserve better. He doesn't deserve her. What a great girlfriend. She's perfect. Keep her forever, Minhyuk, <laughs> in this music video. Oh my gosh. Is that the same woman? Is she thanking them? Oh, for saving her? Was the other guy actually just trying to take the credit and not actually being helpful in that moment? Was that what was happening? So we're back to the noisy alarm, starts to rush me from the dawn. Sanjay is like the happiest go lucky child in this situation, like sitting in the rain, smiling, getting himself a shower a little bit, on the side of the road, in the wildflowers. <laughs> this is very cute. I go outside as if I'm chased. It looks like the brink of a cliff. I, I'm at my wit's end, basically. What am I doing? What should I do? It's an echo without an answer. Ilhun is trying to propose to somebody, it looks like. Why am I venting my anger to someone else after getting stuck outside? Which, good point. Why am I getting mad at somebody else when it's me who's, whose life sucks? Why you try to break up with your perfect girlfriend when she is just being an angel and you're just feeling insufficient? Minhyuk! <laughs> I love him actually, I just... <laughs> for shame in this video. They're really good actors, this whole group. On sale without coordinates, a small paper boat is wandering. Tongue sao but being adorable. I force myself to gulp down tears, and so soon I pick up a habit of sighing. What is he eating there? Those are more chicken wings, right? Oh, is it his restaurant? Does he like own this chicken place? Oh, Work hard, sweetie. Or he's like dreaming big of like renovating. You were so bright and innocent, where are you now? Now he's getting along with this guy again, but here comes the girl. Oh, and he said it was really penal who saved you. We pulled you out of the car, make him feel good. He's gonna let, let her give the gift to him. Oh.
Oh, did he get into the university he wanted? Is that what this is about? He's not just working at the library, now he's studying there. So things went right in the end for everybody. Especially Sunjay sitting out in the rain. <laughs> Okay, so Chungsub got the deed to the place he wanted. It looks like Minhyuk was not an idiot. He's still with the girl and he's taking her out for a nice dinner. Oh, and he got to go to art school like he wanted. Oh, my heart. Oh my god. So Ilhoon ran in here and I was like, is he, has he from the start been planning to propose to Sungjae? But Sungjae has been out wandering the streets in the, in the flowers, sitting in the rain. If that, if that, I, I know it's going to be the waitress that he's trying to propose to. But if it wasn't, if he was proposing to Sungjae, this is going to become like immediately my favorite video of all time. I know it's not going to happen when he ran in there. That was exactly where my brain went. All right, let's go back because there were some lyrics we should be catching. Uh, so it's been long since we met. After you said, let's hang out sometime, it would be better if you take a break. I would not be lonely now then. Although the song is almost finished. I have more to say. Maybe you all have the same feelings. I now the proposal. feel the same way Sungjae. I really thought he was gonna propose to you honey. I really did but you know it doesn't work out every time. <laughs> oh they're so cute. Has he been writing this song the whole time? Is that what they're saying? Oh. Was he choose? Okay, I'm not sure what that first paper was, but was he choosing between like going to college and becoming a songwriter? Cause that's really sweet. That's worth sitting in the rain for, I think, for sure. Oh, so this is like this is like the song two melody, like. It just what it what it says like it's gonna be okay like things seem awful in the moment when bad things are happening time passes things change like there will be new opportunities there'll be new good things in your life you know like sometimes you won't get a thank you for something you should or a sorry for something you should but sometimes you will and like it's worth waiting for those moments too it's worth waiting for the good things because they come to you and that was really heartwarming and their voices you guys their voices are so beautiful they're doing definitely more more of their songs definitely beautiful pain because uh, did any of you not recommend beautiful pain clearly it must be their best song lyrically because it was literally everybody okay i swear every comment said that i should watch that one so it will be next i am glad i listened to this one i i, I needed this song recently too so yes um, yeah, that's all for me today. I post videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Maybe just down to Tuesdays and Thursdays starting soon, but we'll see. We'll see if I can keep doing Saturday videos, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!